going. Hey, what do you do? What do you got? Well, the cart narcs, we're here to help people find the cart returns. Because sometimes, let's say perhaps in this situation, people park you know, maybe at a different part of the cart, uh, the shopping center, I should say. And then instead of taking the cart back, they'll just kind of leave it out in the middle of the, of the spot where it obviously is a, a problem for other people, blocks the spots. Is that recording me? Well, anyway, we're always recording because uh, people we found will often lie about. So they'll say like, oh, you threatened me, or no, that's not my cart. You know, it happens all the time. So this way we can like kind of say, <laughs> Well, actually, ma'am or sir, you know, that's where this goes. So, like, in this case, I would be, uh, I'd be a little worried that somebody who's parked over at the uh, auto parts place there might not take their cart back to the grocery store. Do you think that's going to happen? Probably. I'll, I'll bring it back. That's nice. I'm glad to hear that. Glad to hear that. Because, you know, <laughs> oh, especially since there's already one over there from, what's like, the uh, drugstore. Glad, glad to hear that. Cart knocks out. Oh yeah, well you just you just walked from there. It's just where you came from. Reverse reverse your trail, as it were, right? <laughs> Uh-oh, see? Now's the moment of truth, Narcoteers, because her uh, her buddy here. Wait, are they pushing the other cart? Where did that because that's did they transfer? They transferred their stuff from the that black cart's the grocery store cart, and that gray cart is the uh, drugstore cart. And I guess this other first person transferred it to the gray grocery store cart. She's saying I had to take the cart back, or I have to take the cart back. There's a cart narc. That is true. I'm here. Wait, hold on. What's going on over there? I got. I have questions now. <laughs> So wait a minute, hold on. She transferred the stuff from the grocery store cart to the other cart, to the drugstore cart? Huh? Is she walking off with that cart? Uh, what cart? The, the smaller cart. Oh, I don't know, I guess. That's no good. <laughs> can I go talk to her? What's, can I ask the na her name? T Tiffany. Tiffany, I'll go have a conversation with Tiffany. This is getting stranger and stranger. Okay, first off, points to her, or the first, second lady there for taking the cart back. Then this Tiffany lady appears to be doing a walk-off. I gotta assume, and you can tell this is a res uh, residential neighborhood here on the other side of the street, so. This happens a lot in, uh, and you get, people send us uh, photos and videos saying, oh, my lazy neighbor always takes the cart from the shopping center and leaves it outside our, our apartment complex or, our, you know, little subdivision because they're too lazy. And or... How you doing, sir? Don't be a lazy bone. That's right. Hey, would you like a sticker, sir? How are you doing? No way. Yes, sir. Oh, that's uh, awesome, Did you see man. somebody on the way in with a cart leaving the... the... I didn't, man. Oh, uh, it's okay. I, that's what I'm here for. Keep up the good work. Thanks, Absolutely. Thank you. Not a lazy bones. Oh. Oh, speaking of uh, things, this is a pretty common sight on the West Coast. If you're not familiar. You going, fellas? How you going here, man? Of course. I was like, what the hell? Yeah, cart narcs, yeah. Uh, oh, boy. We may have just run into a real situation. <laughs> Tiffany! That's not where the cart goes. What? This isn't where the cart goes. I'm not waiting. What are you waiting on? Your friend, I love. What the? Carry it back to it. I'm not okay. Oh, okay, that's nice. Yeah, because she's she's taking the grocery store cart back. She's a great lady. What's her name? Sorry. Anastasia. Anastasia. And Tiffany. I'm not gonna carry all those. I'm waiting. But so you're just gonna leave this cart right here? I was. That's not. not but then what if someone with like a wheelchair wants to go down the sidewalk? <laughs> they have to sit there and uh, push your cart. Or some mom's got a stroller. You know how it is. <laughs> Tiffany, I'll tell you what, since you seem like a nice per or you seem like a nice person, I'm Sebastian by the way. If you want, I'll take this cart back for you. Okay. Does she ever uh, ever thought about getting one of those, you know the little carts you can get for yourself? A little like Where is she where she goes? There she is right there. Okay. You know those little like uh, what do they call them? The uh, little baskets? Little baskets, little ab abuelita carts or whatever. Okay. We can help you out, you know, because you have that, you always got a cart on hand. I know, I thought I did not her stuff. Thank well, you. you guys are at least are doing, uh, i tell you what, here's a couple stickers. You guys are at least re reasonable Thank about you. it. I'll take this back for you. 
Yeah. Anastasia, Tiffany, right? <laughs> and then uh, that's out of our jurisdiction, folks. All right, I think we, we had a little conversation. I think everything's worked out. Uh, yeah. And I know what you I know what you're gonna say, Narketeers. Say, oh, you should have. Why didn't you bust the guy in the street with the cart? Well, I think uh, the word they use these days is optics. Once a cart has been fully on stolen, stolen by someone who may not have all their mental faculties, it would be quote bad optics for the cart narcs to engage with that person. Not to mention, uh, there may not be a, much of a conversation that's literally able to be had. So. Stolen carts are an actual crime in, uh, I think, every single state. But uh, I think hopefully we change some minds here with uh, Ms. Tiffany and Ms. Anastasia. They, they at least, you know, one lady took hers back and the other lady didn't fight me. Fight me about this one, so. I don't know. I don't know if that's a win or a, maybe just a draw. Curtain arcs out. <laughs>